Sometimes we can feel overwhelmed or a bit wobbly with our emotions, particularly those emotions we find difficult, such as worry, feeling scared or angry. Our body has an early warning system that works whether our feelings are real or even if we think they are real. We can therefore feel very worried when we don't need to be. Knowing this and recognising what is happening in our body is the first step to learning how to deal with these emotions. These changes or feelings are our early warning signs, which we can learn to identify. Some of these early warning signs could be physical. We may be feeling hot and cold. We may have a fast heartbeat tightening of the chest, quickening of our breathing. We may feel restless or feeling tense or wound up. Some of these feelings could be psychological, where we have excessive fear, where we're scared of everything around us. We might worry a lot and we might think that everything is going to be all bad. Sometimes we can have obsessive thinking and continue to think about the same thing going round and round in our, in our heads. Some of them might be behavioural, where we may avoid a situation that may make us feel anxious. And this can impact on our study, work or our social life. These normal emotions tend to be connected to a stressful situation or event, such as a school exam or even a speeding car. But sometimes we can experience these emotions and feelings more frequently or persistently. And we may not always know what it is that is worrying us. This can impact on our quality of life and day to day functioning. And our bodies are feeling that we are in danger. The fight, flight or freeze mechanism are responses to these perceived dangers. And is our body's natural reaction to danger. <clears throat> it's a type of response that helps you react to something that scares or worries you. Like an oncoming car or a growling dog where we may need to fight, run away or freeze. The response instantly causes a hormonal and physical changes or feelings in our body. The fight response may be recognised in us when we argue or shout at people around us, which is never a good reaction. But if we were in a situation where we may be being attacked or chased by a shark in the sea, then this is the correct response. The flight response may be recognised in us when we leave a situation that we find difficult. We may go and shut ourselves away in our bedrooms, leave the classroom when we weren't supposed to. But if we were in the way of a speeding car, this would be the correct response to move out of the way very quickly. The freeze response can be recognised in when we feel that we are frozen and cannot make a decision about what to do next. Have you ever heard the saying like a rabbit in the headlights? A rabbit confronted by a speeding car may freeze in the middle of the road and not know that the most safest thing to do is to hop off to the side of the road. And when we feel like this, we cannot always act in a way that would give us the best outcome. You may need some help with understanding what our emotional early warning signs are. So here are a few examples of other functions or feelings that happen in our bodies every day and that we are able to recognise. 
So if I took notice of my body and my stomach was rumbling and I was feeling tired and did not have much energy, what my body would be telling me is that I'm hungry. So now that I know that my body is feeling hungry, what can I do to help that feeling? Well, I can eat something. So what do you think would happen if you ignored these feelings and did not eat anything? The feelings would get louder and more intrusive. You may start to get stomach aches or you may be feeling hangry, hungry, angry and very tired. What would happen if we keep ignoring these feelings? Then you would become very unwell. OK, so we can now understand that when we feel hungry, this is our body's early warning sign to help us keep healthy and safe and that we need to listen and take notice of what our bodies are trying to tell us. And this is the same with emotional feelings that we have in our bodies. Being able to recognise these physical and emotional signs in our bodies can help us understand why we are feeling like we do.